So here we have a little Samsung mobile that's uh, plainly been in the wars. Uh, some people would say, why bother even trying to fix it? But um, I like to try and fix things and repair things when I can. So let's get this apart and see if we can swap the digitizer over. Uh, strangely enough, the screen actually actually works. So having released the, the motherboard, um, the next thing to do is to heat this guy up so that we can remove the remains of the, of the digitizer. Uh, for that I use my, uh, my homemade LCD separator, which uh, I'll put a link into the, into the video for. So just before we heat the screen up to remove it, it um, just want to explain how to re remove this is the the connection for the digitizer and it actually flips up from the back so you need to get this little little guy up hope you can see that's just just flipped up there um, this is actually stuck down so that will release easier once it's uh, heated up so here we have the uh, bespoke LCD separator um, I just want to check that the temperature is more or less right, so we should be around 80 odd degrees, 82, that's fine. So we'll give that a, give that a few minutes. Having that, heated that up for a minute or so, we should now be able to start removing the glass. Obviously it's all shattered, so this is going to be a bit of a pain. Let's see if we can just get it separated along the edge there. As you can see, once it's all heated up evenly, it comes away reasonably cleanly. we don't want to do is to get any scratches on the actual LCD itself. We should now be in a position to remove this connector. So now with the screen cleaned of any uh, fragments of, of glass and not forgetting to put the, the home button in. Just notice there's another speck of dust on there. We can fit the the new glass. So there's a little adhesive pad there which we need to take off. And revealing the 
adhesive. Just take it back down. Checking all around that nothing is seated correctly. The top frame of this is actually broken, so don't have a problem there. So now I need to replace this connector in its final position. So that little clip at the back needs to come up all the way up, and then gently. Hold this in. And once that's completely in place, I can just lock the connector down. And that sticks down there. Now we can get on with replacing the rest of the circuit board. First thing to do is to get the main screen connector on. It's a nice click. Make sure these cables are out of the way. That's the start button. Make sure that can be lined up. That all looks good. Placing the single black screw. Good. So now the moment of truth. So, looks like a result, another fix.